Hey guys, um, welcome back to our channel. I guess welcome me back. <laughs> um, I just wanted to come on here and apologize a little bit for our little hiatus. Um, so John decided to go back to um, the hospital he's been at to get some aftercare, um, some programs, and just to follow up with his treatment. Is there seeing anything that he can do a little better to, um, I don't know, help himself? He just still wasn't feeling um, 100%. So I was so, so very proud of him that he decided to do that. It takes um, a lot of courage and guts to just say, hey, you know what? I need to leave for a bit and um, I need to get better. So that's what he's been doing and he's been thinking about all of you. And sorry, I haven't been doing lots of comments. I just kind of need some time to myself too to just think about everything in life and, you know, me and my kids and just where everything is going. And I did a lot of soul searching and you know what? I came to the conclusion <laughs> that no matter what life throws at you, don't dread it. Don't feel bad. Don't fe feel angry because you know what? It makes you the person you are. Every heartache, every turmoil, every happy moment, every little thing that I went through in my life within the last... I mean, I'm 36, so 36 years, not just with John, not just through mental health, anything. It's made me who I am today. And I'm really proud of who I am. I'm strong, independent. I've had to be not, you know, not dissing John or any or mental health or anything, but when anybody, whether it's mental health or physical ailment, you, the other person has to really step up. You're not only caring for our children or yourself, you're caring for that person. So I, I'm so happy with who I am and over the last two weeks as he's been there, I've realized that I don't want to be sad. I don't want to feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like my world is ending because it's not. He's getting better. He's getting the care he needs. And so am I. I'm getting that rest time, that rejuvenation, that just feeling that like life is going to be okay. We're going to be okay. He's where he needs to be and I'm okay and you know I think whether you believe in God or a higher power whatever you believe in I think you're only given as much as you can take and I can take it <laughs> I'm doing okay I really 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 am and I want to thank all of you the last couple of videos that I put in out that I have put out my mental health and just you know well-being the, the response and about not just on YouTube, but even I've um, on Facebook, I've been a part of some mental health groups and just talking and the support and love that everyone out there in the world gives to people. It's, it's given me a newfound love and respect and hope for our world. You know, with all the bad things that are out there, there's some really great people out there and some people that, hey, we might never ever see each other or really know each other. But you're still there for us, and there's some people I want to show people I want to shout out to, Patricia and her family from All Bodies Fitness. You know she always keeps in contact, saying oh, I miss you guys. We're praying for you, and everyone out there. That means so much to us. You know we don't know you that well. We've never met you, and probably never will. But just knowing that we know you through social media, that you care that much to like you know after a week or so of us not being around you know, just message and say that, it means the world. And as I said, it gives me hope for this world that there's so many great people out there. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't worry, John's coming home very soon. And I believe this Saturday, he'll be home this weekend. This Saturday, he's going to continue with his martial arts sequence, which he's really excited about. So again, sorry we've been away, but you know, we all need that time and healing and we're back.